What's up guys, it's Fudge99, welcome back to another video, today we are doing a video about the new proposed transfer windows, positives and negatives, I suppose you could say, you know, discussing both sides and my own opinion on it. So the EFL and Premier League, I believe, are in agreement in September that they will come together and discuss the closing of the transfer window before... Before, essentially before the first game of the season. Now, this is slightly controversial. And I'm going to talk about the good things first, why it could be potentially good. The first thing is... First thing, you've already got a settled squad before the first game of the season. Therefore, there's no late arrivals to fit them into a squad, squad embed them, and to be able to fit in with the squad, because obviously... After that first match, you kind of want to have the settled, you want to have kind of the squad that you're going to have unless you panic buy. Which obviously can be, you know, a good thing at times as well. But ideally, realistically, every manager wants to have the squad that they're going to have for the next season or at least until January. Before the first game this season, so you can get them embedded together, you can get them playing and working together without bringing somebody else in. And then they're having to work around being fit into the team while also trying to train and all of that. That's why I think potentially it could be a good thing. Next thing. The other reason why it could be a good thing is not having this Coutinho situation where Barcelona looking like they're going to get him, but it's a bit up in the air. But if they do get him then they've got no replacement for him. And you could, okay, you could say that they should have had, they should have something in place beforehand if they knew that Coutinho wanted to leave and was looking at replacements and maybe even get in contact with other, other representations of other players. But, yeah, it comes to the situation where Coutinho wants to leave, Liverpool don't want to sell him because they haven't got a replacement or they don't feel like they can get a replacement. But Coutinho wants to leave. Now, if I believe if this was before the first game of the season where evidently he got injured, let's just say that he may be injured, but more than likely probably not because every most players that are injured, even, you know, Costa, etc., that, you know, even though there was pots coming out today anyway about that, but yeah, like people that are pretending to be injured before, just before the first game of the season so they can go and get a move. And I feel like that would also help to being stopped. Like, you know, he may he may have an actual injury, and that's fair enough. But he just looks a bit suspicious, that's all. So yeah, but the only... Now, the downsides is obviously you don't have as much time in the window to be able to, you know, scout plays properly. So that is another downside, but I believe that it it would be very good for the transfer window to close before the first game of the season. You've got a settled squad, you know you know who your teammates are, you know that they can't bring anybody in. Afterwards that's your team for the next at least well, till January, if not the end of the summer until not the summer. And it will also uh it will also, I believe, bring down the cost. Because as people are starting to panic buy in these last few weeks, clubs eventually put the value of the play up, like we've seen with uh, Coutinho. Coutinho is not worth 100 mil. 16, okay, 70 in this, you know, in this day and age now that we're living in. Okay, but 100, no, he's not. I'm sorry, Liverpool fans or any fans of Coutinho, but he's not worth 100 mil. Now, obviously, it will stop these high inflation prices because they know that they don't want to leave lose him. Therefore, they put the prices way high, just hoping that they won't be able to... They, you know, Barcelona aren't willing to pay. But it will also mean that, obviously, the good thing, it will stop higher inflation of players in these last few weeks. That's all I've got to say. Yeah, like I said, my opinion is I think it would be good. you got your settled squad. You can't lose anybody, therefore nobody can panic, no clubs will panic by. 
because you would have had to have scouted, you know, before the end of the season again, which is, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, but I think it's all good. Anyway, please leave a comment what you think about this proposed suggestion. It might not even come to fruition. It might it might not even, you know, clubs might just say, oh, no, just leave it. But I felt like it would be a good decision. Anyway, I've been Fajna and I'm, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.